Hello, welcome back. As you can see, it just takes place right after where I left. Basically, I'm trying to uh, keep a video about an hour long, give or take, uh, wherever I catch the recording for the most part. And I'm only really when I'm playing alone, when I'm playing with friends, I kind of just let the video go and just cut that shit up. It's kind of a mess, but whatever. So returning in this one, did the dungeon. To not only allow us to use of the tanks, but to arrange the transportation to guard them all besides, blessed are we to count Cockle among our allies. Unto thee we must also give thanks, Sandcred, for coming to our aid on such short notice. Please, you know I'm always happy to help. Don't hesitate to call on me again. Uh, this don't really matter too much, because I don't use it. Till next time. Okay, before I go and continue, um... Okay, I wanted to do this. I kind of like it. I think it matches for the most part. Oh, yeah, I remember. Somebody said to remember to extract the materia, so I wanted to check. Spirit bond. Feet are almost there. What about the necklace I just replaced it for? I do need a repair too. Like Fear to Flame. With the tank's transportation thus arranged, our first task is complete. We may now turn our attention to the second. To wit, obtaining the blessing of the Ilsabard contingent to use the Tower of Babel to channel energy into the moon. Our destination is Camp Broken Glass, there we may present our petition to Commander Lucia. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that polar bear was gonna be in uh, here, Ilsa Bard. I did not think it would be connected to Charlene. No, it's just right here. Cheese, allow me to personally thank you for your assistance during the recent Void Saint incursion. Your actions saved many. What brings you here today? Pray forgive us for not sending word in advance, Commander, but we seek your cooperation in a matter of great import. Indeed, we appreciate you consulting with us instead of taking... Uh, unilateral action. It is no simple matter to activate the Tower of Babel, and I speak not only of the technological challenges. Personally, I think we must consider the emotional impact of such an action above all else. Pending a more official name, refer to those who remain here as the Garlean community. As you would expect, they are predominantly native Garleans, most of whom are uncomfortable with ethereal manipulation. To compound matters, uh, the trauma inflicted by Anima is still fresh. If the tower were to suddenly light up again, it is likely to cause distress and reopen old wounds. Better than facing a mass invasion by Golbez and his void sent hordes, surely. Of course, we acknowledge the gravity of the situation, as well as the promised bloodshed should we all fail to act. Yet even were we to convey your warning to the public, many simply do not understand the workings of magic or the rift, they will struggle to comprehend why they must be forced to relive personal horrors for the sake of something they cannot imagine. What's there to imagine, having these people seen Void Scent with their own eyes? Let us suppose you encounter someone who's freezing in this cold. A natural thing to do might be to take them a fire, yes? But what if that person still experienced with fire was being badly burned by it and they harbored an, an acute fear? 
Despite the benefits, nay, the necessity of the warmth you offer, they may flee on instinct, or worse, mis misinterpret your actions for aggression and lash out. So like the fire that torments this individual, the Tower of Babel torments the people of Garlemald. Yet we cannot afford to falter here. We must find a way to help them overcome their fear. I agree to that end. The contingent will assist however we can. We should speak with Alpha Male and Alizé. With the rapport they have established with the Garlean people, I dare say they can provide us with valuable insights. In the meantime, Urinator, might I ask that you remain here to oversee the technical aspects of the tower's activation? I'm glad to see you, Cheese. Ritra has explained our present dilemma. It's no unconfounded concern that the Garleans might take poorly to that reactivation of the Tower of Babel. It's putting it mildly. Many would be up in arms over it. Trust in the Ilsebard contingent is fragile enough. We need to tread lightly, or we risk jeopardizing everything we've achieved. Trust again. Well, it seems to me there's not for it but to speak with the people. Rather than harping on about the necessity of the plan, we need to lend an ear to their concerns. Then perhaps we can begin working towards the compromise. In that case, I'll take you to meet the community leaders. They're at a station called Senatus near the Sinaculum Imperial, whatever. I would be honored to speak with them, though it would be prudent to learn where people elsewhere stand as well, but that I will leave to the others. Save Zero, might you accompany me? I'm sure those in Tapper's Den will have their own opinions, Alpha Male, if I may drag you along. Tertium, we leave to you. You are no stranger to the people here, so it should take little prodding to convince them to speak freely. Then it's settled. Once you've learned what you can, let's all meet in Forum Solius, where we'll have what I hope is a productive discussion. Actually, what I want to do too, real quick, before I move on, is I'm curious to see. I guess I can just keep it up. I'm curious to see how quickly the wiki, like, updates the, uh, what do you call it? I go quest main scenario. So they they just go as they go along, I guess. So I wonder if this is right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a oh okay nine. That's right there. So there's nine quests. What duty finder? How do I check the old quests? Logs, travel, party, social system, character. Oh, do I just click this? J, complete. So let me see. This is only the third. What's up, Malleus? Activate the Tower of Babel. Are you out of your mind? That abomination transformed my friends and family into monsters. I can't even bear to look at it whenever I step outside. If you want to do something for us, tear the bloody thing down. What's up, Poopy? Whatever its present state, the Imperial Palace was once the pride of Garlemald. I mean, no disrespect to you and yours, but shouldn't the Garlean people be its caretakers instead of foreigners? Though if we dared to speak less to some of the contingent, they might 
Make assumptions, cut our rations, or worse. No, no, forget I said anything, please. The Tower of Babel? What's it got to do with Void Scent? Can't say I understand. Still, your people have done much more for us Garleans. If you say it's necessary, then that's good enough for me. Fee, fee, the tower isn't right, I tell you. All those magics are as a fi. Years ago, when I lived in the provinces, the locals raised our village to the ground with the stuff, made things appear and disappear and fly and burn. Can't still see it when I close my eyes. You've done us a good turn, dear, but let's not talk about that tower any longer. It's unnatural. Wait, where's this guy? Oh. Serious lad. No, stop it. The tower is evil. It will turn us all evil. I don't want to hear it. Leave me alone. Why would I talk to a kid to get his opinion on this matter? How do I get out of here again? This way? Julius is on his way with the others. Hope you found the people more receptive than we did. Jeez, may I present you Lord Naeus and Matthias, magistrates of our political council. They have been spearheading the efforts to establish a new system of government here. When we raised the subject of the Tower of Babel, they insisted that we speak no further until joined by representatives of the Ilsabard contingent. See Alpha Male and Alize. We had to arrive, though, so perhaps we should wait. Doesn't matter if only some of you are present. We simply wish to make one thing perfectly clear. The Tower is the manifestation of Garlean ingenuity and authority. It was once the abode of the imperial family and will forever bear tremendous cultural significance it is insulting enough that we had to suffer foreigners occupying it under the guise of rendering aid and now you propose reactivating it nay we have had enough the garlemalds garlemald of old may have fallen but she fell in civil war not to her own people not to eorzea nor any other land we came here to assert our unequivocal claim to our territory garlemald and all that lies within her bounds is beholden to no one Since their excellencies are resolved to negotiate with the contingent, I will escort them to Tertium. I'll also instruct Alpha Male and Alize to meet us there. Lord Matthias, Lord Nias, by your leave, my comrades and I would speak with the residents of Sinatus. Though the Ilsabard contingent holds the Tower of Babel, it is I who wishes for it to be reactivated, unless I think it meet me that I be present for this discussion. Yet my understanding of your people's hardships, of their hopes and desires, of their dreams for the future is sorely lacking. In my ignorance, I would struggle to contribute. Lest you worry, I will not plead our case to the community in your absence. I wish only to identify common ground upon which we might build a relationship that sees us overcome our differences. Where is Varshan? Oh, I see. Very well, but know that the guards will not hesitate to escort you from the premises should they judge your actions to be inappropriate. If it's settled then, you should all head to S uh, Senatus, whatever. I'll join you there after I see their excellency safely to Tertium. I 
Alright, Varshan, where are you at? Oh, you're just over here. Here it is, Sanatus, a temporary refuge for political dignitaries, hence the tight security. I'm given to understand that outsiders are not normally permitted so much as a glimpse inside. We should consider ourselves fortunate to be given this opportunity. Hope it will be worth the trouble. As do I, Zero, as do I. To begin, I propose we split up and ask the residents for their views on the Ilsabard contingent and the current state of affairs. We would also do well to learn more about this enclave itself. Should you observe anything of note, pray keep it in mind. It is through open hearts and open minds that I believe we may yet convince their leaders to work with us for the greater good. Can I use the thing in here? Nope. Pile of crates. Stockpile of assorted supplies bears markings indicating they were provided by the Ilsabard contingent. The Enclave is clearly reliant upon the Alliance for aid. I'm going to go to the far one since I used my sprint. Might as well get all the use out of it. Marcus. How do I feel about the contingent? Conflicted, to say the least. I've been at task with the distribution of supplies, and I know as well as any that we couldn't survive without outside aid. Be that as it may, even though the Empire has collapsed, we have our pride. People don't want to be beholden to others forever, and there's no denying that it chafes to see our benefactors occupying the Imperial Palace. You recognize the large cask as the very same you and your comrades used to transport Cerulean from Lapis Manalis. Why they are in why they are in Sinatus is unclear. You wanna know what I think? I'm a soldier. I try not to think about politics at all. I'll say this much, our leaders labor to preserve our culture, our way of life, but remains of it at any rate. I trust them to do what's best regardless of all. Can I see people in here? I wonder if it's just me. I'm assuming it's just me. It's like a little personal instance, I guess. Finished touring the Enclave, have you? What, what were you able to learn? Much the same as me, then. They accept the contingent's help out of necessity and harbor a measure of resentment. They have only themselves to blame. If they don't like the bargain, they should reject it. How many times must I tell you? It's absolutely out of the question. going on we were wondering the very same we came running when we heard shouting does that the matter oh no I was just trying to explain I may have you can clear this up the contingent has made a reasonable request but this man insists that it's impossible it concerns the magitech weapons which run rampant throughout Regio 
urban whatever every time we deliver supplies here we have to dispatch extra men to defend against potential attacks to address the issue once and for all we propose the elimination of all machina that loiter near the supply route but you heard them they refused to even consider it the magistrates have already spoken on this matter rampant or no those war machina are garlean assets furthermore who is to say they are as dangerous as you attest it has been suggested that this could be a pretense to scavenge magitech material for your own ends. I know not if that is the case, but the fact remains we cannot allow you to destroy them. More speculation by the magistrates, I presume. Ridiculous, but they, but they have spoken, and unless we want to inflame tensions further, there is not what we can do. How complicated relations become when not grounded in a clear and equitable arrangement. An equitable arrangement, of course. While well, I do understand the difficulty of your position, as a soldier you must do your duty and obey your superiors. I have an idea, but I must first speak with Commander Lucia. May I take charge of this matter? By all means. I'm wondering if you guys can hear the little audio blip that I'm getting every now and then. I hope you don't. Let us return to Camp Broken Glass where we might discuss a solution. I believe will satisfy all parties. Excuse me, dragon coming through. Welcome back, all of you. I pray there have been positive developments in your efforts to appeal to the Garlean community. Mayhap not yet, but there is a method by which I believe all stand to gain. As a trap, as a trap, I intend to propose a trade agreement between Rads at Han and the people of Garlemalt. Please continue. The people of this nation have lived through its collapse and more, yet they have chosen to remain, for it is their home. That they have been able to survive thus far is thanks to the Ilsabard contingent, or rather, in less flattering terms, they are entirely at your mercy. Despite your noble intentions, this one-sided relationship has fueled feelings of frustration and resentment. It is no surprise then that some Garleans are loath to engage with foreigners for fear of indebting themselves further or surrendering more of their already limited autonomy. That is why I wish to present them with an equitable arrangement, one that would restore them a sense of agency after having been forced to rely upon charity. Easier said than done. What exactly did you have in mind? Long have Garlemald and Rads at hand abided by a treaty of non-interference. Freely have we traded with one another, and I wish but to continue in this tradition. We would provide your people with such supplies as you require in return for which you would grant us to leave us leave to use the Tower of Babel, as well as share your Magitech resources and expertise. As we become more reliant upon your technologies, we will, of course, require more ceruleum to fuel them. This you possess in abundance, and for it you will be duly compensated. Reds at Hand's culture will be enriched by your Magitech wonders, and our ever-increasing demand for your wares will see Garlemald grow wealthy and prosperous. Only when both sides keep the interests of the other in mind can we... Can an equitable relationship be forged? Just a principle I once thought I understood, but have come to appreciate all the more in recent days thanks to the sage counsel of a friend from beyond the rift.
Your Excellency, thank you for your careful consideration of Garlemald's future. Though I cannot speak for every Garlean, I myself see no reason to object to your proposal. Indeed, if Rad's at hand were to take the initiative, our other nations may follow suit and seek to normalize trade relations with us. We see the sense in my proposal that I am asked you to join me in the negotiations at Tertium. Your support may be instrumental in winning Overlord Naeus and Mat Matthias Medius. By all means, go with them. I have matters here well on hand. I have learned all that I may regarding the tower's operation, so I too shall, uh, he, 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 hi, whatever me to Tertium. Hi, me to, whatever. Wait, was that Rad's at hand? I mean, the, <laughs> was that the dragon dude or was that urinator? I didn't even notice. crowd you may have brought but numbers will not intimidate us the tower babble is ours by rights nothing you do will convince us otherwise rest assured it is not our intent to infringe upon the rights of the people of garlemald let us instead discuss the future as this is a trap of rats at hand i wish to establish a new trade agreement between our nations The aid we presently receive will not last forever, my lords. Sooner or later, we must stand on our own two feet. But to do so, we must secure a means to replenish our coffers, and the proposed agreement presents a rare opportunity. Hmm, it is true we do not want for Magitech and Ceruleum, and foreign currency will be needed to procure such things as we lack. It would depend on the precise terms, but I can see the merits. What? I can't believe what I'm hearing. You serve the Emperor, were a proud patriot, yet you now entertain selling national resources like a common merchant. Like you, I weep for what we have lost, but if we are to rebuild Garlemald, we must make use of what precious few assets remain to us. Nonsense, utter nonsense. You are a traitor, Naeus, and there will be a reckoning. Oh yes, when the people of the Sonatus learn of this, they will cry out for your blood. Lord Medius, wait. It isn't safe out there. Whatever, let him die. What's up, Julius? I'm gonna go save the guy. Bonds of trust. Oh, uh, he's spawning at 12 near north. At 12. Oh, are they doing like a, what do you call it? A train. It's far too dangerous for a civilian to be outside alone. We must go after Lord M Matthias. Let us leave matters here in Maximus' care while the rest of us join in the search. If Lord Matthias is bound for Sonatus. We may be able to catch up to him in Regio, Urban, and whatever. I pray he has not come to any harm. So where did he go? Ooh, cool cube. I wonder where you get that at. Probably Shadowbringers, but you see like the tower or something. squeeze in under here damn it man i've been looking at the fucking thing to see damn it to see if i can catch the uh the audio like the one the mic makes that noise but every time i like look away it doesn't happen and when i look at it i mean when i look when i look at it it doesn't happen when i look away it does happen 
Yo, everybody helping this guy out? I'm alive. I wish I could see you. There we go. Praise the sisters, you are safe. Let's check out his voice actor. Don't think I'm indebted to you. I never asked for your help. You love Garlemald dearly, Lord Metius. That much is plain. But you're not alone in that. We all mourn what has become of our homeland. Bristle at having to rely upon outsiders simply to survive the cold. Even now, I struggle with fear and uncertainty. Day after day, I ask myself, what is right? Where do we go from here? I've yet to find the answers. But I won't stop looking nonetheless. And I won't avert my gaze from our grim Excuse reality. Me. Is there hope for us? Gunshot. I, so long as we live. Garlemald lies in ruins, but the bonds between us will never be broken. We are the chain that connects generations past and future. You and I, it's links. Help us, Lord Metius, for all we have been and for what we may yet become. Please. <laughs> to be lectured by the young man, it ill becomes a man of my station. I will rejoin the talks at Tertium. Might I trouble you to escort me? Ere we part, I apologize for my discourtesy. I owe you my life, and I thank you. Euless, wait. I'd like a word. With you as well. I'm to stay close, after all. Worry not, we shall see the Magistrate safely back to Tertium. What is it? You bound that man with trust, didn't you? That's why he did not require coercion to return. She's like a little baby, a little child, you know. Uh, shall we walk, perhaps? Chilly, standing around here. So that's how Zero came to join you. Still... I'm not sure I'm qualified to explain something like trust. I wouldn't describe myself as a sociable person. Before all this, 
Any free time I had, I spent looking after my brother and sister. As for the Magistrate, I only told him what's been on my mind of late. But I wouldn't have done so, I think, if it weren't for the Twins' influence. Trust is infectious, in a manner of speaking. When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them, in others, in yourself. Perhaps it's because the Magistrate felt that earnestness that he gave us a chance. As I did, after I was caught trying to steal provisions from the enemy. Trust comes easy in such company. Little wonder my world is devoid of it. No one trusts in you. And so you trust in no one. And round the wheel turns. Oh, she remembering. During the Contra Memoria, we had already come to judge one another based on strength and usefulness. You either used or were used. Those who rejected this rule didn't survive. My mother wanted to save the world, to fulfill the hopes of Memoriad's good and true. After she died, I carried on her mission alone. Alone? Didn't you have anyone to help you? Almost. Two men tried just the once. A swordsman and a mage whom I met when passing through a village. They had saved the people there from corrupted memoriads. When they learned our enemies were the same, they seemed heartened. They claimed to be soldiers of a kingdom called Baron, and were traveling the realm in search of a means to end the Contra Memoria. They invited me to join them. I refused. How could I not, having learned the lessons of my world? Those who would work with others always have their own motives. I would not place myself at their mercy. I would not be forced to submit. I expected some manner of outburst. Some show of frustration at having failed to deceive me. But they simply watched me walk away. I didn't know what to make of it then, but now... Perhaps they shared a bond of trust. Perhaps they were the last ones left who dared. Perhaps they hoped I was like them, too. Perhaps it was just an offer, and nothing more. I continued fighting alone. But ultimately, I was undone. Overwhelmed by enemies that had banded together. I was cold. In pain. Wishing desperately that someone would save me. And as I lay there in solitude, I felt it happen. The breaking of our world. Darkness washed over me, and I was swept into the rift. When I finally managed to return, it was to a world forever transformed. My home, now filled with abominations. I had a chance to learn about trust, and forsook it. I never had the power to save my home single-handed. I should have accepted their invitation. Had I joined them as I've joined you, 
I might not have had to face the end of the world alone. But it's all history now. <clears throat> no amount of reflection or regret will change our present reality. Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. So long as you're alive, there will always be hope, no matter how bad things get. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. Think about it. It's plain that you've forged bonds with those around you. If you didn't feel that in some sense, would you have risked your life as you did for a meager ration of boots? I trust you too, for what it's worth. Enough with the head and the hat touching. The fire that burned in my breast when you came to my rescue. The urge to weep, though there is no sorrow. If this is trust, then what must I do? How do I answer it? However you like, with the handshake perhaps. However you like. What is she? What is she gonna do? Let's say his ha handshake. Give anyway. Me hand. It's not something you do constantly, mine. A friend is a friend, regardless. A friend. So that's what it means. Someone you trust. Smile. I wonder if she's gonna go and shake like everyone's hand. Oh god, why am I thinking of him? Thank you. I feel at last as though I found the answers I sought, and I owe it to all of you and Julius. Right then, I expect the others have already arrived back at Tertium. We should join them. Oh, it's gonna take me. Well, glad am I to see everyone returned, and none the worse for wear. Various representatives of the Garland community are gathered here this very moment. I dare say this is a fine opportunity to announce the trade agreement. You read the memorandum. I trust you find the terms acceptable. I do, and Naeus, I pray you forgive my disgraceful conduct earlier. I am ashamed not only of my behavior, but of placing the burden of negotiation solely on your shoulders in my absence. You should know that when we brought up the subject of the tower's reactivation to the people of Tapper's Den, some reacted quite strongly. Once we explained that it would be to prevent another avoid scent invasion, however, they were more receptive. It's fair to say the recent episode is still fresh in their minds. 
tagged along to deliver supplies to Cerulean. I have to say I didn't expect to see such a large crowd, even the stuffy Imperials who normally keep to themselves and Sonatas are here. <clears throat> My friends and countrymen, lend me your ears. <clears throat> I am pleased to inform you all on this joyous occasion that we, the people of Garlemald, have entered into a trade agreement with Rads at hand. To inaugurate our accord, we intend to grant the individuals before you access to the Tower of Babel. In return, Rads at hand will provide us with supplies which shall be equally distributed amongst the settlements of our nation. Let me be clear out on one point. This is not an act of charity, but trade, a bargain struck between equals rooted in trust and respect, and that marks a significant step towards rebuilding our nation and regaining true independence. Reds at Hand holds Garlean technology and ingenuity in the highest esteem. It is my hope that through this agreement, our peoples will enjoy a mutually beneficial relationship for years to come. Now then, we bid you gather around to hear the particulars that you might convey them to those elsewhere. So burdened by hardship and trauma were the people of Garlemald that they were unable to imagine a brighter future. To be recognized as equals, as a nation was something of value to offer to others, that validation alone is enough to rekindle their hope. There it is again, and I missed it again. Just by virtue of this partnership that we may access the Tower of Babel, a rather timely development given the Aether Tank's impending arrival. Once the tower's stores have been replenished, we need but await your stole signal to channel the energy to the moon, yes? Then you can leave that and anything else on this end to me in Alpha Male. No need to worry. Devote all your energies to the mission in the void. As ever, I am in your debt. You are good friends. All right, urinator, lunar rendezvous. Let us take a moment to review matters as they stand. Having procured sufficient stores of ether, we may now channel the requisite energy unto the moon via the Tower of Babel. Our work on the star is complete. However, we have yet to receive word from Ishtola as to the state of the lunar preparations. A ritual to open the gate and measures to forestall a void sent invasion. Neither task is simple nor quickly completed. She would doubtless benefit from our assistance. The very thing I was about to propose. Let us join her above and lend what aid we may. Ere we set forth, however, Ishtola did bid me relay a message to thee. As thou art well aware, a key objective of our mission is the extraction of thy sister Ajdaya from the void. Held captive for millennia and divested of an eye, she is like to be severely weakened. 
To make good her escape, she shall require aid. Aid that is best provided by a fellow great worm. Is she gonna come in in his true form? I was wondering. Have me go in my true form. Yeah, I was gonna say. Very well. Like our sire, we great worms are capable of traversing the great expanse. The journey will take some time, but I shall take myself to the moon. To begin with, I shall return this vessel to Radzat Han, that I may have both my eyes. And until such time as we find Ashdaya, I will entrust her eye to your keeping. Wait, where's the Stinian in all this? Do this for me. He just had his shirt off. And then he's just gone. Didn't even, like... I thought maybe he would trust it with him. We shall contact you via Link Pearl once all is in place on the moon. You need but follow Ishtola's instructions. Understood. We'll be ready. Take care, Zero. It will be the briefest of homecomings. I'll be back before you know it. In Mare Elementorum, then. Go well. I took the liberty of informing Ishtola of our arrival. She and her entourage should be here momentarily. Is her entourage the bunnies? Oh, never. Oh, Stanian was with her. Forgive me. I'd hoped to have everything in order sooner. My thanks for the extra hands. <laughs> Alfino and Alice stand ready at the Tower of Babel. Vritra is also en route. Excellent. You've done well, all of you. For my part, I've managed to prepare the ritual with help from the Watcher. All that remains is to channel the ether from below. This should, I pray, open a gate leading to the moon of the 13th. May I just say how excited we are to be a part of this grand undertaking. The development of the artificial Atomos was one thing, but this is an opportunity like no other. Ishtola even managed to get a loan of elegant treatises on voids and summoning from the prized collection of the Sons of Saint Koinak. The Empire's application of etherochemistry in regulating void gates provided us with many a useful insight for our work, let me tell you. I asked a favor of Grahatir when we were comparing notes on cross-rift travel. Given his credentials, I was confident he wouldn't be denied. The knowledge of our forebears has brought us far, as has our own. And with our knowledge and resources, 
We shall construct a void scent containment seal on a heretofore unseen scale. Containment seal? Then thou wouldst make use of... Aye, a tried and tested means of holding dark entities at bay is readily available here. T'would be remiss of us not to employ it. We shall reforge the brands that Xenos and Fan Daniel destroyed. That which held even Zodiac shall more than suffice for void scent of any persuasion. The Watcher is already hard at work, tending to the most critical parts of the brand's restoration. There are, however, a number of concerning factors that remain. With your help, I'm sure we can resolve them. Time is of the essence, so I suggest we continue this discussion as we make our way to the brands. So I wonder if I do this with the mic, does it... Hang on. I don't think it does. It's just in my headset. I'm gonna mute and unmute it. Now then, to the matter at hand. With the Watcher's assistance, we shall reforge each of the Zodiac's brands and use them to erect a barrier capable of repelling Void Scent. Yet though we expect it to be effective against larger beings on account of its original purpose, there is a chance it will allow lesser Void Scent to slip through. Therefore, we shall require a second line of defense, and I believe the Lopret supporters uh, would be suitable for this purpose. Urinator Cheese, the two of you have a strong rapport with our lunar allies. Would have you meet with Living Way in Best Ways Burrow and provide any assistance they require. I will join you, as a void set my knowledge may be of use. An excellent idea. In the meantime, the rest of us will see to reforging the brands. I'll send word when we have finished. Pray do the same. Everyone here is ahead. There you are. Yishtola has appraised, apprised me of your present undertaking. I understand that she wishes to deploy our pride and joy, the veritable carrots of our eye, our unrivaled combat supporters, as a precautionary measure in case this void scent containment seal of hers proves lacking. As we speak, my fellows are rounding up what units they can, and we'll bring them to the fourth northeast corner in short order. Please wait there. Third Dragoon. Is that like the Manderville? Welcome contribution. Thine initiative never ceaseth to amaze. Oh, stop! You're making me blush! Though we have 
have fulfilled the purpose given to us by Hydlin. Aiding the people of Atheris remains our greatest joy. So you can count on us, ever and always. Right, so. We originally deployed these supporters to patrol the moon and keep it safe. They've never tussled with Void Scent before, but with sufficient data, they ought to hold their own against the ghastly fiends. Practical, tactical data acquired in the moment, and who better to give the supporters an educational thrashing than the champion of Atheris? I believe I would make a better instructor. Not only have I fought Void Scent, I am one. <laughs> oh, I wanted the other one. Pray forgive our comrades' enthusiasm. May I inquire as to how long the repairs will take? On an ordinary day, I'd say no less than five carrots briskly consumed. But if you were to provide us with encouragement... Be able to do it in two. <laughs> this I leave to you. What do they want? Uh, Lovebird's eyes twinkle with anticipation as they await your buoyant exhalation to it. They yearn for you to rally their spirits. That's it. What? Engage, engage. Oh, sorry, I was in the midst of, forgive me, the sight of precision parts is strangely soothing and sleep inducing, but I'll try to keep moving, Eon. What a marvelous feeling. There's nothing like wild gesticulations of encouragement to fire you up. Hum, hum, hum. With you cheering me on, I can do not less than my very best. Oh, thank you very much. Very, very much. You don't know how uplifting it is to have your encouraging, you encouraging us. I mean, uh, showing us a proper technique so we may keep our supporters operating at peak efficiency. My, everyone is in high spirits indeed. Thanks to your encouragement, we'll have the supporters up and running again in no time at all. Pray attend to your remaining busy work and leave the deployment of our new and improved Void Scent Slaughterbots to us.
Can you hear me? We've just finished restoring the brands. Let us reconvene once you finish tending to matters there. The culmination of our efforts is nigh. All right, so it's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna take a break. It's early in the morning, gotta have breakfast and get the fuck away from me, who you think you are. Gotta get uh, breakfast and uh, stuff, other morning stuff. But uh, yeah, thank you to whoever may be watching and I'll probably continue this in a bit. And penis.